Successive governments seem to be hindered in making radical reform in the welfare state. Will this ever change? I don't think it is difficult to make, uh, for political parties to make radical reform uh, arguments because it's finally dawned on the political elite that actually the attitudes among the sort of Hampstead intellectuals are not those of ordinary people. The vast bulk of people want to see people getting off benefit and into work. They resent it when they see themselves having to get up early in the morning, go to work, earn not a great deal more after tax than uh, some of their neighbours on benefit, uh, while those people can sit at home watching television. In 1997, Peter Lilly proposed a radical reform of the state pension system to be implemented over a generation. What difference would that reform have made today had it been implemented? It would have made enormous difference if we had implemented a policy such as I proposed, a basic pension plus it was called, which went gradually over a generation to fully funded pensions, while in the meantime keeping a state guarantee that everybody would get the sort of pension they're currently entitled to. Uh, and the benefits would have been twofold. First of all, individuals would have had a funded pension which they could fall back on. If they didn't use it, they could transmit it to their heirs. But it would have increased the level of saving and investment in the economy, so other things being equal, we would actually have a more prosperous economy uh, and one that would have been less indebted without the problems of the debt crisis which we faced in the late um, 2008 onwards. What is the next evolution of the benefit system? I think it's much more important to make benefits conditional than reduce the level of benefits. Indeed, I don't want actually to see the level of benefits that one gets in a particular situation reduced. It's just that only those people who really need it should get the benefit uh, and those who can be persuaded or required to take work should do so. We can't expect them by manipulating and tweaking the benefit system to increase the incentive much but if they know that there's a job available and therefore they've got to take it then they will. What should be the next stage of reform in the welfare state? I think the next step in reforming the welfare state is probably introducing extensive workfare. I introduced a pilot scheme of workfare in the last year of my period as Secretary of State for Social Security, which was working well. People who've been unemployed for more than two years were required to date jobs, and jobs were made available for them, even if they were artificial jobs. Uh, and within a very few months, uh, the majority of people had left benefit. Uh, so I can see us moving in that direction, which will be profoundly to the benefit, above all, of people who are languishing on benefit, who are demoralized, demotivated, and lose their self-esteem when they find they can take a job because they've got to take a job. They rapidly move on from an artificial job to a real job.